Welcome to this Let's Talk Machines tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. Users of flow solvers sometimes require that all of the points along symmetry type domains be coplanar. Other situations occur where users might want to map the points of domains at the extent of an extrusion, for example, to a specific constant coordinate plane. Some of these users have gone out of their way to develop software programs for accomplishing just this task after exporting their meshes from pointwise. Still others have adopted an approach wherein they create a desired constant coordinate database plane in pointwise and project the points of domains to this plane. However, this solution usually isn't suitable because the points are database constrained only up to a certain tolerance. One simple approach to accomplishing this in pointwise is to use a scale transformation. To illustrate how this is done, I'll first select the symmetry domain of this aircraft mesh. Next, from the Transform submenu of the Edit menu, select Scale. This opens the Scale panel where I'm first prompted to specify an anchor point. 0, 0, 0 is a good anchor point in this situation since it includes my desired Y coordinate so I'll provide this using the XYZ entry field. In general, choose an appropriate anchor point for aligning the points of your domains appropriately. If I had a domain along a constant y equals 1 coordinate plane, and I wanted to ensure that all of my points for this domain were exactly aligned at y equals 1, then choosing an anchor point at 0, 1, 0 would be appropriate. Next, I need to provide the appropriate scale factors in each of the three coordinate directions. I don't want to scale the selected domain in the tangential x and z directions, but I do want to make sure that all of the points on this domain lie on a constant y equals 0 plane. Thus, if I enter scale factors of 1, 0, 1 in the scale factors entry field, then all of the x and z coordinates for points on this domain remain unchanged, while their y coordinate is multiplied by a factor of 0, ensuring they are aligned exactly on a constant y equals 0 plane. In general, the scaling factors for the tangential coordinate directions are set to unity, while the scaling factor for the normal direction is set to 0. Simply click OK to save these changes and exit the scale panel. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.